this one's going to be really tight, I feel. Swim races always are. Mm -hmm. So I think this jury will definitely come into play. Will a few get down a little wave? Will, the, will they not? We're we yeah. going to have it. our leader just take it out from start to finish. It's going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, we see the girls getting ready here. Just watching a few races in the other arena as well. But for now, we are getting ready for a start in the under 14 female surf race final. Oh, I can feel the nerves from here, Georgia. Oh, I feel them too. <laughs> I'm feeling them. I'm very nervous for the girls. It's uh, The swim race is one of my favourite events, that's for sure. So it's going to be great to see who takes this one out. And we may have a super fish on our hands that ends up coming through the ranks and into the open swim. Yeah, we've got a few, I tell you what. And I've been loving going through the results from the, uh, the different state championships. And you do see some of our younger athletes having a crack at the open surf race. And it's great to see them, you know, coming out top four, top six, top eight, top 10 and going, yeah, good work, girls. If you want some good race practice, go and race in the opens, jump in a surf teams. This is, this is your time to shine. And I can only imagine these girls would be doing quite a few swim sessions. Mm. They're definitely getting the, the kilometers done in the pool. So the girls at the front, will really enjoy these conditions of being a little bit choppy mm -hmm. but still flat enough so I think we can see some caps coming yeah, up now. Yeah Jody Mead uh, that's an ocean beach cap right up the front this is where she this is where she established herself in all of the races earlier today and she you can just see she's got a few of those you know water polo strokes happening at the moment because as it gets a little choppier it's harder to see that first red and yellow cap the girls need to have the uh, cleanest line there as well you'll see they'll course correct on their way through but georgia this is not the time to make a mistake you need to hit that first can well they want to be on a direct line to that first can and you can see the girls strokes out the front they're pulling a lot of water there's no bubbles around their hands they're doing a really strong strong stroke so it's going to be very interesting to see if that inside line is going to pay off they look like they're on track to hit that first can pretty well yeah georgia thinking of they, they've made it out here now they need to get back home safely what sort of prep would they have been doing to make sure that they can hit that finish line well because again you just want the, the straightest the cleanest the most efficient way home how do they prep for that look they will have chatted with their coaches beforehand and they will have picked a landmark behind the finishing flags whether that be a colored tent a hill a tree something that they can pick out that is directly behind those flags because it is very very hard to see they've on just a pole with a with a color colorful flag so that'll be very interesting to see if they have picked that and if they can take the direct line in we can see the girls just making their way around that that turning flag now got a bit of a race on our hands which is exactly what we wanted to see it was uh definitely jody mead who had it all her own way in the qualifying rounds but she's now been challenged she's in a pack of about four or so at the start we'll grab them as they come around that final turning can interesting that it's just the first set of cans here they just hit the red and yellow hard oh we've got some arms crossing over we've got sunshine beach up there and yep. that looks like cook's hill and a wonder competitor yeah so i'd say that's neve arthur uh, neve arthur from sunshine beach she's medaled at aussies before she's a great swimmer there but uh newport definitely throwing some elbows out there which i love to see absolutely you've got to do it and i mean you've got to try and get around that can as quickly as you possibly can so i mean sometimes it's needed here we go. We'll see the uh, pack start to spread out. And this is where the girls, they've been going out maybe in a bit of an arrowhead formation to the first can. But here is where we'll see they'll start to spread. They'll look for that point on the beach. They'll try and find their own water. And if you're good enough, you back yourself here to say, I'm going to go a little wider. I'm going to find my space. And I'm just going to zero in on that on that last flag. And you can see they're really picking up their kick. There's a lot more splash mm. than there was on the way out. And I mean, what's so different about Scarborough is that you're not looking into that direct sunlight in the afternoon. They'll good be able point. to see a lot better than they do on the east coast so it's going to be very interesting to see they still lift their head up every now and then to make sure that they're on course but wanda starting to push up as well yes so that we've got heaps here of she wanda. comes this right through so the middle she hasn't chosen to go around she said no i'm going to back myself i'm going to go straight through the middle of the two leaders <laughs> that is so gutsy i'm so impressed right now wow that is a big move and i think it's going to pay off for her the top three have definitely started to pull away from the rest of the pack I am impressed that she's gone, excuse me, ladies, I'm coming through the middle. This is what I do right now. We've actually got four or five from Wanda in the mix, which is so great to see. Loving the Wanda cap in the middle. And, and I tell you what, we go. She's, she's up. up. She has come straight through the middle, up and waiting now. And she's done it. Wow, Wanda, congratulations. We will get your name as soon as we know. Man, that Ocean is impressive. Ocean Beach in second. And it looks like Cooks Hill is going to come through for third. 
Oh my gosh, that is, we talk about the perfect race. We talk about executing a race plan. She was happy to let the girls be in one and two, but you know, just, she just did her own oh, thing. I'm she raced so her impressed. own race and said, you know what? No, I'm going to take this on, go straight through the middle and bring it home. Um, she had an amazing kick on her and that stroke rate really came up. She just backed herself. That was incredible to see. That's some really mature racing for an under 14 competitor. Absolutely. That is excellent to see.